<clears throat> All right, here it is behind me. Um, <laughs> All right, here it is behind me. Uh, the Bronco, we've been tearing it down, um, doing a lot of stuff to it, and uh, this is where we're at so far. Um, I've cut the quarters out, and uh, that took a lot of equipment. You need a sawzall. You need a grinder with a cutting wheel. You need a grinder with a grinding wheel. <clears throat> you need a chisel hammer or hammer chisel and chisel and uh, snips and shears and whatnot. So be ready. Let's go with this quarter panel removal. All right, we started out by cutting. I cut the. I cut the quarter panel with the sawzall out like this, all the way around, out, out, out. <clears throat> then after that, peeled off, it was spot welded on here, and uh, more rot. So we cut it all off there, and then um, with the air chisel, uh, up underneath this quarter was uh, this lovely stuff here. This was part of, let's see if I get this right, this is part of the quarter, um, which again was up in here, all had to come out. <clears throat> quarter fits pretty good, a couple little adjustments, but while I'm in here, I've, uh, we had some uh, rust issues, closed out the back of the this unit here got some more spots right there to deal with uh, I'm going to uh, replace this piece from the inside well actually I'm just going to put a piece on top of it uh, it's good but you really can't weld <laughs> to this stuff here it's really annoying so we're going to put on the inside where it's nicer and it'll hold stronger uh, while I was at it though I noticed that got all these issues in the wheel well area, the ground up and around, every other thing looks good. Issue here in the back. So we got ourselves a big piece of sheet metal that we're going to turn into a Bronco. Um, what I've decided to do is I'm going to attach, I'm going to uh, rivet the quarter panel up to the top. And then uh, with drilling holes in the quarter panel, I'll either rivet or weld to the back side and then uh, of course weld this side here so let's get working what we're gonna work on is fixing everything in this whole area while we're in here so as I get in here a little deeper this is gonna be the first repair I'm gonna cut um, piece of sheet metal. I'm going to go right along this line here and uh, round over the shock mount and into this corner. I'm going to put another piece um, up into here, down to there and block that all out and uh, that'll keep this alive for a few more years. There's also a little issue on this side too but that's a quickie. So, what I'm going to attempt now is to measure this up. Um, I guess I'll take the chalk off too so it's out of the way. Measure this up and uh, cut this piece. I have uh, finished the cut with the shears. I would recommend spending, uh, it wasn't even an extra $10, let's see, $27.35, uh, like an extra $8 and get the shears with the pistol grip. We are working and uh, at some point you do have to go old school and uh, trim this out by hand little magic marker little eyeball and uh, I think we get a nice look there that's gonna go across there I'm gonna uh, clamp this up and then I can kind of get an idea of what I need to do for this section here look at that rust Alright, I fabbed up my pieces. You already saw this one here that's going to go in here. 
Now we've got the pizzas going in the back of this inner wheel well. And uh, I've drilled some holes to weld through. Uh, because sometimes getting along the edge isn't it doesn't work out too good plus when you have it and you got to push it if you can see that up tight and then you put the weld in there and it holds it and then uh, we've taken uh, a combination of uh, clamps and wood and wedges to get that whole piece up because we're working by ourselves here um, I'm gonna tack that in there get this piece in get this other one in and get this whole wheel well straightened out so we can start coming farther out to get that quarter panel on. Alright, I've been welding under here. And always remember to clean up and don't leave stuff ah, in your truck, <coughs> cardboard and such. Uh, already had one issue. Uh, there goes another sweatshirt. Um, damn it. I like that sweatshirt. Uh, yeah, I thought it was just a paint melting. Uh, but uh, again, kids, be careful. This is. Uh, oh, man. I cannot even open the door right now. There we go. Alright, let's try it again. Regroup. Oh shit, there's a fucking gas tank right there. Ah, there's another gas tank over there. Woo. Yep, yep. Oh yeah. Alright. This uh too much for damn it. I love that sweatshirt. Uh, if you look at my earlier videos, you'll see how I lost my other sweatshirt. And now, now I've lost another one. Uh, but the biggest thing is, uh, do not panic. Do not panic. Just uh, stop the fire out. I do have a fire extinguisher, but I uh, want to save it for uh, a big fire. So, back to stomping. Come around here. And uh, <laughs> there we go. All right, fire is contained. Fire is contained. Fire is contained. Let me uh see what other damage we got here. <laughs> Smoke inhalation, definitely uh, an issue. Woo! All right, so. Uh, need to pay attention to my own warnings and uh, and uh, make sure there's nothing in the uh, way. Man, this uh, sweatshirt, the reason why it keeps burning like this is because it's my, you know, was my under the under the truck uh, under the car under everything working this thing had so much oil and grease in it that it uh surprised didn't hasn't happened before ah oh, stupid all right Let's see the new quarter is okay no damage to the new quarter panel uh a little bit of little bit of paint damage inside, but we don't care about that. Uh, garage is full of smoke. Really doesn't show up that much on the camera, but 